Uh, we started at the individual level, basically doing a familiarization shoot for weapons. So our soldiers were able to shoot their weapons and their soldiers shot our weapons. And then we moved into team and squad level training, uh, primarily with us executing a mission to show them our tactics and techniques, procedures that we use, and then we would observe them to learn from their uh, tactics, techniques, and procedures. Uh, any highlights that you'd like to share from what you've seen so far, Sam? Uh, the best part has just been watching them learn from each other. Uh, initially, you know, I think there's a little bit of apprehension as soldiers work with soldiers from another army, trying to figure out and gauge where they are and their ability levels and how they do things. And then within a matter of a couple of days, you realize that armies are armies and they have the same challenges we do and the same uh, leadership opportunities during these events. And it's been really interesting to watch them share in the in the building and learning process, and they're kind of growing together. So, now how have the uh, combined training exercise enhanced communication and uh, interoperability between the two armies? It's been really interesting because they didn't bring a lot of enablers with them. So we're providing things like the mortars and the uh, working with their snipers and our snipers together. So we're identifying common languages, which is really interesting and huge for us because 
Uh, we're used to dealing primarily with other American units, so we have our common vocabulary. But being able to learn theirs as well and kind of adjust our, our procedures to make sure that we can work within their reporting systems and they understand ours has been good for our leaders. Uh, uh, in what ways has Tiger Bomb 12 served to strengthen the relationship between U.S. and Singapore? Well, I can only speak at, at my level, but from our level, I can tell you that it's been good. For, most of our soldiers have never met anyone from Singapore before, so now we, we understand who they are. They speak English just like us, and they have the same challenges. So I think you're going to see some pretty long-term friendships developed out of this. Okay. Uh, what things of importance will you personally take away, take, take with you uh, from Tiger Bomb 12 and working with the Singapore Army? Uh, for me, it's understanding that when you get in on the ground initially, you have to establish all of those communication systems to bring other assets to bear, uh, whether it be the process for conducting a casualty evacuation or requesting indirect fires or talking with notional aircraft. I think that's probably the first step. But the biggest thing is that you know these, these soldiers are just like our soldiers. We have the same challenges, the same uh, capabilities. We just view problems a little differently, and that's what really increases the value of these things because we get to see a different perspective and we take a different approach, and oftentimes we, we learn a new way to do things.